In-person learning, hybrid, or all remote, how to educate students safely during COVID has been a school district's biggest challenge. The CDC hopes its much-anticipated guidelines released today will help kids get back to school as soon as possible. CDC is not mandating that schools reopen. These recommendations simply provide schools a long-needed roadmap for how to do so safely under different levels of disease in the community. The CDC is dividing schools' reopening options into four different color-coded zones, blue with low transmission rates to red being the highest. The CDC is encouraging low to moderate districts to reopen for full in-person learning. Red districts may consider limited reopening, but with several mitigation strategies in place. I am glad that they're looking at the different layers and, and looking to see that different areas have different needs. West Harvey Dixmore School District 147 is in an area hit hard by COVID. Superintendent Janetta Miller says she's aiming to bring her students back for a hybrid schedule possibly by March. Masking and social distancing, those were the minimal things that we were looking at before we would bring students back. Masking and six feet social distancing are two mitigation strategies the CDC says must be prioritized for all school districts, regardless of their color zones. These two strategies are incredibly important in areas that have high, have high community spread of COVID-19. The CDC is not recommending all teachers and students be vaccinated before returning, but the federal agency does suggest prioritizing teachers for vaccinations. In addition, in the next few weeks, the Department of Education plans on giving school districts specific strategies on how to deal with the disruption caused by COVID, including learning loss and the digital divide. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.